Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another tutorial. And uh, this is based on layering within DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna show you how to sort of work um, on various areas in DaVinci Resolve um, whilst keeping a subject um, exactly the same, basically. So um, in order to do that, obviously we need to do some masking. So you can uh, click on this window here and it will give you an item or a selection of masking tools. Uh, this one being the most popular, you can basically place this um, object anywhere in the sea. Um, so for instance here, if you can see this. And then what we're going to do is just create another serial node, just to lock onto that so we can keep the full picture. Um, but when we um, work on this node, if we, we click on it, um, we can play around with uh, various um, looks. Um, within this boundary so within this circle for instance so if we go back to our uh, color window or any of our windows whatever basically we um, alter in this section we're just altering that section as you can just see there so if I just come out of that now as you can see basically we've just altered that section there so let's just undo that for now um, and then we can just see know about plan around with uh, masking so in order to mask it's very similar to after effects i'm going to sort of get uh, this section here for instance and go around uh, my object uh, so this sorry it's a bit rough but just giving you a rough idea on how to do it um, and we can sort of go around uh, this area here um, and back to our point of origin which is right here and then basically whatever we alter um, in this part of the scene um, will alter in real time but if you look at this node here um, it's just showing me basically what part of the actual scene it's actually altering so um, for instance let's see what we can do here uh, let's go to our color wheel so say for instance I punch the greens up here as you can see we're not affecting um, anything apart from the layers we want to um, change so if I want to sort of you know fix this mask and have it all the way around for instance I can sort of put this here around my subject and basically um, whatever I alter in that scene just come out of that turn it off whatever I alter in that scene will alter in real time um, within our scene but as you can see here obviously this is done rough okay so you know what you would do in real in the real world is basically mask this um, character properly um, so let me just um, undo all this okay so you would literally mask this character out properly now um, if it's like moving footage then obviously you're going to want to um, concentrate on tracking um, or if for instance uh, the, the, the character moving then you're going to want to track um, the actual character itself now obviously there are tutorials on um, YouTube regarding tracking in DaVinci Resolve so I'll, I suggest you check out the tracking uh, tutorials in DaVinci Resolve but for this particular tutorial I'm just going to show you how to um, just change um, various elements um, of the actual background so um, let's just um, do another mask let's say uh, the bend let's just come out of that one let's bend, get this one um, and let's just play around with making just just a touch neat enough it's special just gonna make it a touch neat yeah okay all right so and obviously like I say I mean if it's a moving object then obviously you're gonna want to track um, your subject and then obviously they'll track the mask um, and then basically go from there now this is the blur tool um, uh, for blurring um, so if I wanted to uh, blur this object um, I can sort of bring this up here bring this up here just right click on blur let's go to changes to blur and now we can sort of play around with our blur as you can see there so um yeah it's just pretty um 
self-explanatory so as you can see there the higher we punch up the radius here just zoom into this for instance this DVD rack here um, these will automatically act as the, the sharpening um, and the blurring of your object but you can also change to like mist so you can have it sort of like a misty look if you wanted and obviously imagine if the character I mean Da Vinci in general has done a pretty decent job to um, feather the character out but obviously you know he's not perfect because it's a case of how I've actually masked him out um, if I go back to my masking tool um, as you can see we can alter that and just if you've got like a, a blank space here if you click on it it'll automatically add um, another point so you can literally make this uh, a lot more neater um, but the neater you do it obviously the better it is going to be uh, for your production if you hold and drag um, you'll do a curve so if you grab it and then hold it and bend can and bend it do like a little curve uh, so on and so on so let's just bring this out here because as you can see we've not added the mask to this bit hence why um, it's not blurred but as soon as we uh, bring that mask out everything will be fixed as you can see so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff in DaVinci Resolve so that's basically how you would do it now if you obviously wanted to make things uh, darker then obviously you would keep the mask in the same place and then work on obviously your game your game controls or, or your gamma and just just literally play around with your settings here so if i just bring my game down as you can see i'm making my background um just turn it off um a lot darker but obviously it's going to interpret interpret is that the right word um, into your mask um, so obviously you're going to want to make um, your mask um, a lot neater in general um, let's just go to undo that uh, you're going to want to make your masking as neat and as tidy as possible purely because obviously once you start changing the tones and of the background then your mask is going to show up uh, pretty profusely so let's come out of that go back to go back to that so basically that's how you do it darkening your background blurring your background um uh using masks so yeah i hope you found this tutorial helpful like i say guys um if you're using a moving subject then you're going to want to use uh, the tracking feature now you can track um using this feature here the tracking tool um, but like I say, there are um, lots of tutorials out there. So what you would do is obviously you would place your clip into the scene. Um, you'll do your mask and then track the mask. Um, and then after your tracking's done, obviously you're going to want to say this was the next frame. You know, if there's any track points out, then obviously you're going to want to fix um, any track points that are actually out of the scene, for instance. Um, and then just go from there really it's exactly the same as sort of tracking in after effects uh, so on and so on so you're just going to want to you know move your track points to wherever the video um, is moving to if that makes sense so yes this is just a response tutorial um, to one of my subscribers he basically asked me name's Matt really cool guy he basically said to me you know you need to blur out the background um, and add some color uh, dark, sorry darken the background but as you can see we can sort of alter any of the points by just clicking and dragging um, the position of the uh, tool here to wherever we want um, and then once we've done that if you look at this picture here just here as I'm working it's basically altering it in real time for me And it's showing me what part of the image is basically masked just bring this out and what isn't masked so let's just bring that point there let's bring that point there bring that point there and it's pretty easy to do if you want to add more points just click in and basically 
jobs are good and so now it, obviously if you want to do that then you're going to punch again straight back up again and whatever your background is um, it's going to alter and return so as you can see I'm punching my gain up let me get rid of that that mask obviously you know you're going to want to do it as neat as possible uh, let's go back to my blur and if I bring that down obviously I'm sharpening the image if I punch it right up um, I'm blurring the image um, as well let's go back to this as you can see this is obviously untracked footage but you can see how far we've sort of gone with the blur so on and so on so I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful as always a like rating would be appreciated and I'll definitely guys catch you in the next tutorial ciao ciao